Both the PNP and the Pideya are duty-bound to enforce the law and run after those involved in the illegal drug trade. Even if those personalities are actually from their ranks. Bea Bernardo tells us more. The Department of the Interior and Local Government believes that the whole of nation approach is still the most effective method to fight against illegal drugs in the country. That's why the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency remains to be an important agency in the campaign. This despite the arrest of some PIDEA personnel in a drug operation in Taguig City last week. Nariliwala sa interagency ano, cooperation. Napaka-importante po nun. Nakita niya naman ngayon, this could only be effective kung talagang tutulong ang PIDEA, tutulong ang Dangerous Drugs Board, DOH, and a lot of other agencies of government. According to Avalos, instead of fighting against each other, law enforcement agencies should cooperate in running against large syndicates. PNP and PIDEA ensure to continue to clean their ranks of scalawags. PNP Chief Police General Rudolfo Asurin Jr. said they are investigating the police officers who are involved in the illegal drug trade. PIDEA Director General Moro Virgilio Lasso Minwell said aside from monitoring, they are also conducting counterintelligence against their personnel. The Chief of the PIDEA Southern District Office, two PIDEA agents and a driver were recently arrested in an anti-drug operation in Taguig City. 9 million pesos worth of drugs were seized from them. Both law enforcement agencies believe that they have not failed to remind their personnel to be faithful to their sworn duties. Ang may pagkukulang siguro is the commitment, the passion na man nagtatrabaho kontra sa droga. PIDEA respects the decision of the Taguig City LGU to withhold their support for PIDEA while the investigation is ongoing. Hopefully they would reconsider your stance nila na ganun kasi we are really in need of uh, having a good office there. Meanwhile, Abalos announced the promotion of more than 50 PNP personnel, including Area Police Command Southern Luzon Commander Roderick Armamento as a three-star general and NCRPO Chief Junel Estomo as a two-star general. Bea Bernardo for The Nation.